Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. This is a correction to the video on the engine mounts that I released about a week ago. Uh, the problem was, is I, in the video, you'll see later, I put the bolts for the mounts from the inside of the case coming out, the nuts on the outside. My thinking was that I could tell if the nuts ever come loose and there wasn't any chance of the nut falling off inside the engine. Well, the problem is with it sticking out that far, it rubs on the uh, fuselage there next to the where the motor mounts bolt in. And Fly Guy Eddie was the one that pointed this out. I thank you very much because I might have caught it test fit in the engine, but could have been a problem later on if I'd had to pull the whole thing apart to correct it. Now let me show you what I'm talking about here. As you'll see in the rest of the video, I had the bolts coming from the inside sticking out. The nuts were right here, a nut and a small washer. Well, that was what the problem was. Those so stick out far enough because the rail of the airplane fits right here. These berry mounts set on that rail. Well, those stick out far enough that they would be getting into that rail and rubbing. So that was a no-go. So I just pulled the bolts out, flipped them around, bolt come from the outside, and nut and washer on the inside. I would do it this time when I just swapped them around, I sealed everything up with silicone. But when you do it, if you do it right the first time, you just epoxy everything, nut, washer, just like you'll see in the rest of the video. I wanted to add this to the front of the video, mostly so nobody would accidentally make the same mistake I did just from watching my video. Then I also wanted to show off my new Christmas hat my wife got me. Got to keep the ears warm. It's getting cold around here. Well, enjoy the rest of the video. Everything else in it is, as far as I know, accurate. Thanks again, uh, Fly Guy Eddie. See you on the next one. Since it's cold and nasty here in Missouri, I've been cleaning on the engine cases. I think I finally got them to where they're good enough to go. They went to the car wash, got all the oil passages blasted out. Bought a bunch of assorted cleaning brushes from Harbor Freight, which worked really good for the oil passages. And then the external part, wire brushes of various sizes. This one was very handy for getting in all the nooks and crannies. So right now, we're going to glue on, before I get anything oily, now that everything's clean, since these have to be epoxied on, we're going to glue on and bolt on the engine mounts. So first off, I'm going to rough up both of these surfaces, get those ready for the epoxy. The T88 was stored out in the garage, not frozen, but it was a little cool, so it's warming up in some hot water there. We'll get that glued on. T88 is a one-to-one uh, -one mix. So I always just made two uh, equal size puddles and stirred it up. It's got a long working time. I think like 30 minutes to work with it, maybe longer and then 24 hour cure. So pretty easy to work with. I just use an old tongue depressor, flattened on the end. Make sure I mix it good. Yeah. I'm gonna put some, put a coating in the bottom of the hole. Now I put the bolts coming out. Probably look better if they were going in, but I'd like to be able to see the nuts to make sure nothing ever comes loose. And it'll be underneath the edge of this mount, so you're not going to really be able to see it anyway. Now, coat this whole area here. With a nice layer of epoxy. It's nylon lock nuts, but I'm going in and putting the epoxy on the threads. 
put the washer on there and the nut on there while it's wet. It'll shove it down into the crack. Because a good part of this is just to make sure it doesn't leak oil. But it is in the structural epoxy, so. She's all oozing out the side, so we'll go through and clean that up. fit just right on the inside. So. And you obviously want to make sure you get this sealed up good because if not you'll be pulling the engine back apart. Make sure it's all wiped off right there because the backing plate has to seal up against the case right there. And that will be with silicone. Nowhere else. Smooth it out. And there's one engine mount. Now just repeat it on the other side. Mix up a new batch of glue and do it again. Side two is on there. So right now I'm gonna take these inside, let them cure overnight in the house where it's nice and warm. Should come out tomorrow. I'm hoping to start fitting the crankshaft in here, seeing how everything's gonna to go together. Still gotta to cut the camshaft. Still not sure about that front seal. I still don't like the idea of epoxying it in place. That may be how I end up doing it anyway, since that seems to be the norm. But until tomorrow, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Keep up with this thing. And sooner or later, this thing's going to start up.